Those tornadoes are good for everybody. Run in. Really? You get bonuses. Oh, they hurt. They hurt. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> you and get bonus you damage out. to your character. This poor non guildy died. He paid the price for being with us. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> rested. It's because his name is Female Hamburglar. I'm not helping him. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexist. Oh, yeah. Speed, you haven't been playing since they added the Ascended stuff. Grats, did you get that out of the uh Awesome Personal yeah. reward? Yeah. You gotta link it so that What did he get? I was jealous. Ascended armor chest. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh what's the I'm, name? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I quit. I'm gonna congratulate you. Anybody read that IGN article today? Oh nice. I did indeed. Re Anybody else catch the part where he said, admittedly, like we kinda messed ourselves up by destroying LA because all of our all like holiday, everything was there, and so if it continues to be destroyed, we've caused ourselves a lot of work. Yep. Which means uh, that's awesome. lots of work, or they're just going to fix it quickly. They better fix it quickly, because <laughs> I don't want them spending the time making new holiday things when it be, go be going to like new areas, new etc. You know. Wait, what's the next holiday that they have to? Dragon Bash. Yeah, Dragon Bash. Huh. When does that start? Two months. It's in June. They could use Dragon Bash as like a timetable to have Lion's Arch rebuilt by. Since that's kind of what kicked off the whole I think it, living story or Aetherblade thing. It kind of takes away from it though, doesn't it? I thought we would I see Zephyr know. Sanctum again before Dragon Bash. Oh, you could be right. The trade. Which is probably where we'll see Blade Shard trade-ins. But I, I, I kind of assumed that they would do something like they would fix... They could fix up like the center square part of Lion's Arch, and which utilizes most of the decorations anyway, and then just leave some of the you know the outskirts or the sides all damaged. Yeah, just have it slowly That's a good rebuilt idea. over the course of years. Like every patch, just have something else that looks like it's been rebuilt. Well, doesn't he? I thought he hand decorated like most of that anyway. That was my understanding from last year. Like, all of the Christmas presents are placed or something. Yeah. So then, well, they already have all the decorations, like, made. They would just need to place them if it was somewhere besides Lion's Arch. I, I would think. I, I don't know anything about game design, but... I'd be, I'd be down to see some of the holidays moved to the other major cities. Like, I think that know, would be Holbrecht awesome. Get Dragon Bash, uh, you know, like, each holiday kind of be moved to a different city. I mean, I, li I like the idea of that, but, but I, kind of, uh, I kind of agree with Clouded. Do you want them spending resources to decorate another major city, or do you want them building content and stuff well like during winter's day that dev had said that they don't have a safe state for the holidays versions of lion's arch he had to go and replace all the props so it's not really any more work to place the props in a different city than it yeah, would but, be to place props back in la but like some of the props are like their light posts have lights hanging on them and stuff like that and those light posts won't work in any of the other cities right i there say just they could uh, say they decorate the ruined city the ruins of lion's arch and put them up in another city so I mean, they'd have to, like, the presents would work, but there's some things they'd have to remake. I like, like Charlie it. Brown with it, throw a few presents on the ground, have, like, a scraggly tree. Exactly. Winner's Day! <laughs> yeah. Decorate the destroyed lion. Like, just throw some lights on it. So, uh, chicken run. Chicken run. Chicken run! A red. Fallen bog otter, so if we die, it's his fault. Wiser words have never been spoken. Time to do some Yay, we win. Which part was wise? The following you or the it's always your fault if he dies? Should always follow me. They changed. It looks like they changed the icon for the griffin feather. So weird. Accelerate. They had a meeting about that. I bet they did. <laughs> you know, I was thinking... This icon is no good. The feathers for the griffins remind me of the feathers for the moa. The list. Rio, can you snag Rex? <sighs> I guess... I have to. Rio, can you snag Rex in a less creepy way? <laughs> nope, not possible. <laughs> you know, I I got uh, 
I got the Avengers for Christmas as a gift. I still haven't watched it. Um, oh, that is but, so good. Oh, the bond. Totally. Well, it's funny because I, I was watching like good. Iron Man three or something, and they keep referencing the Avengers. I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. You gotta, you gotta make the time to watch that. It's, it's, it's such a good movie. Mm. I, I Robert Downey Jr. I was not a fan of the actor that plays uh, mm -hmm, Captain America until Captain America. Ooh, girl, it just got hot in here. <laughs> yes, it did. What you guys aren't drooling over Thor? Nah. No, that's my daughter. So it, it's <laughs> it's my wife too. <laughs> no, th no, my daughter's Thor's drooling over wife? Thor. <laughs> Thor's my wow. daughter. Why were you moving all the furniture if Thor is your wife? You know the fact that they cameo in each other's movies and there's cross referencing and they even reference it in like the the Marvel Agents of Shield TV show. There's crossover. I, yeah. I just think we've never seen anything like this in media. Wait. So you you you're watching Mar uh, Agents of Shield, right? I didn't I didn't I haven't finished season one yet, but I'm most of the way through it. Yeah, you don't want to watch the next episode of Agents of Shield until you watch Captain America, because which Captain America movie are you talking about? The new one? The next one? Yes. Yeah, the new one. Okay, so you you say watch that before Marvel Agents of Shield? Yes. Before the because... the episode that just came out, watch up to the episode yeah. that just came out. The last episode was 16, so watch up to 16, and then see Captain America 2, and then continue S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. There so find go. out whatever the newest episode of the show is, right? Read a summary of it, get all the information, then don't watch it, right? Then watch the movie, then watch it. Go to Wikipedia. <laughs> then you gotta watch the movie again and, and put your hand the over again. the bottom of the screen. Slowly <laughs> scroll down while reading the synopsis, and just don't read the last paragraph. <laughs> and, and then, then you, gotta you watch do the hokey the pokey, time, and right? you turn yourself like, around. Like two pictures on TV, watch one and the other at the same time. Find the point where they sync up, and then you gotta watch at that point. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting confused. I'm gonna get a pen. Can you start over? Take your TV, set it on fire, throw it out the window. <laughs> I I want, like, when do I eat like, my burrito? I heard there was even a scene within a hospital once on, uh... Oh, now I'm crossing shows. Never mind, I'm talking about Arrow. Ignore me. Harley okay, Quinn had a cameo on, on, on Arrow. Oh, yeah. in the same universe. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Billy. But, Sorry. Can you, give, can you turn in your geek card at the end of the night, please? <laughs> Is Gardo's a, uh... Venture Brothers reference? Not that I know of. Uh, just because there's a when he when Doctor Venture dismantles Mantle's helper, he makes another robot called Gardos. Didn't know that. Sounds like a cereal for Guardians. I it... <laughs> <laughs> Try Gardos. Gar Gardos. <laughs> Gardos. Part of a healthy breakfast. Now with great justice. Uh, I need my group to come to me. <laughs> Oh jeez! Yeah, but the problem is the the only problem with that joke was for great justice is warriors, so you have to have warios. Fail. Warios. <laughs> warios. Yes. For some reason, warios makes me think of uh, Super Mario. Actually, <laughs> <You> totally. Wario. <laughs> 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 Who's excited about Guardians of the Galaxy? Raise his hand. Um. What's you not seen the trailer? The trailer no. looked amazing. Watch the trailer. Dude, Rocket Raccoon. Is this a cartoon? I still can't. No, it's another Marvel. No. Mo it's, it's another, another Marvel, Marvel, movie. Marvel comic book thing. Guardians of the Galaxy. Doesn't sound familiar at all. Yeah, it's pretty it's obscure. One of the more obscure ones. Yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about it, but I saw the trailer. I'm like, oh my god, that looks awesome. I saw this really funny meme that shows a picture of Megan Fox, and it's like, DC's all like, Wonder Woman's too difficult of a movie to make, and Marvel's all like, here's a raccoon with a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe it's Bradley Cooper doing Rocket Raccoon. Dude, That's... and and what's his name is? Star-Lord. Chris Pratt is Star-Lord. Oh, God, it's yeah. so perfect. I think I heard a geek gasm there. <laughs> it, no, it couldn't be. He has his card taken away. <laughs> it came through me. 
arrow. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Your, his geekasm came through you. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, and and it's, I'm like, oh god, I'm talking about arrow. Nobody pay attention to me. Was that a simultaneous geekass? I watch arrow. Whoa now. It, it's not the fact of watching arrow because I wouldn't be embarrassed of that. It was the fact that Bad I, I missed. Yeah, I missed. I totally crossed universes, which is horrible. You crossed the streams. <laughs> I was actually kind of it was surprised and pleased to see Vin Diesel doing a voiceover rather than a straight acting role. I don't I can't remember him just doing a voiceover role since Iron Giant. That's essentially what Fast and the Furious is. <laughs> <laughs> He's voicing over the car. That would be incredible. Vroom vroom. Dude, they re they reboot Turbo Teen with Vin Vin Diesel. Ugh. Hey, Richie, you want to come back to the quaggin? I can't find the quaggin. You ran past it. Yes. <laughs> Giant Stupid little manatee attack. people. Actually, it was my burning hatred for the crate that caused me to run forward. I still can't get over a speed play getting a ascended armor box. I do these every <laughs> week, <laughs> yes. and I've never gotten one of those. I'm so upset. The trick is you need to take a long break, and so what they do is, the first time you come back, they drop it right away to entice you to stay. Ah, uh, you're one of those. I believe it. You're... See, I knew, I knew Clouded would say something. <laughs> Every He's... time Rex logs in, he gets something amazing. Dude, when I logged into Hearthstone yesterday on the iOS... It's like I opened up two packs and every single card was a hunter card. I play a hunter and got like a mount within the first two games that I won. Wait I was a like, minute. are they totally trying to get me to play this on my iPad all the time now? Can you do, uh, can you play it on a, an iPod? Or an um, iPhone? I would, I would think if it's, as long as it's an iPhone or iPod that's past whatever, that it won't oh, play on an no. iPad 1. Then no. <laughs> Well, it won't play on an iPad one, so it'll and it'll play on iPad two. So I would think if you had an iPhone past what four S, it would work. But he said iPod. Or iPod. I mean the iPod, like version. I mean because there are ones that because I have like the first iPod Touch, that has no external speaker and stuff like that. I think and once again you're still adding more things. I think he's saying. <laughs> I think, think the answer is no. <laughs> I think he. If I shove my finger into my eye and start poking a lot, can I play it there? <laughs> <laughs> I poke 2.0. I fell. Follow Bog unless he falls. Oh, I first we, one in two we weeks. We had nobody fall last week. That's because I wasn't here. I was wondering why this was so easy. I was running down the bottom of the valley. <laughs> Lagging really bad because I keep seeing that stuff run off the edge and like teleport back up. Did you like get through the valley and be like, man, I remember a lot more jumps here? I think I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. How, what, where do I go from here? This kind of stinks. Actually, I don't think we have a mesmer, do we? Yeah, Xavier's not here. Bobby, I have are uh, you uh, extra portals. Here? I've never gone this way before. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. You've never oh, jumped. I did it! Nice! Oh. <laughs> Why were you over there? I don't know how I got over there, but it worked. So are we supposed to be working our way through the maze at this point? There's little uh, balls yeah, of you... light at different alcoves that you have to pick up. And we have, to, six of them. we have to get a bunch of them to the northwest corner of the maze. Does it not eat odds with the, with the ball? It's not, not dodge your... ball. You don't reach in. Reach in. And one I, have, I have one. And Inx has the other? Okay. Inx has had that one for a long time. No, no, this is my second one. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! I know where to stick these balls! Oh, jeez, I got lost. That's what I get for following Bog. Led me into a death trap. There was a giant with cat black, golem. Yeah, Blackheart Tom. Not good. He's gonna kill me. It's the black, oh. it's the black heart Tomcat. <laughs> black heart Tom. <laughs> wow, so many bad guys. I made it, and I get. Hey, the... I got a precursor. I got a guild gathering and swiftness banner. I got a guild road marker. I got warrior gear, and I don't have a warrior. <laughs> I got a bag of rocks. Oh, you still got that? Blew my face up. She's been eating Cardos. 
<laughs> She's like a ranger. Rangeros. Elementalistos. She hurts. Well, she's got whirling defense, guys. I thought she would be using Kappa Feo, considering the rocky terrain. Is that a Star Wars reference? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe Disney Star Wars. Now you turn in your geek card. That was Princess Bride. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's, that's old, though. <laughs> it's just like Star Wars. It's old, but you're, <laughs> but you're old. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it falls under a long time ago in a galaxy somewhere. At least I know enough not to get involved in a land war in Asia. So, Richie, uh, you taking a, a soft pull at all to see how many people might be buying and or playing Wildstar? Did I take a soft pull? Yeah. Uh, There's a, a, a ton of people I'm actually already <laughs> that questions that. No, I'm not taking a soft pull. There you have it. Guild Michons. There you have it. Sponsored see some by trees. Gardos. Wasn't too bad. Sponsored by Gardos. Need to get that sponsorship. For <laughs> great justice. <laughs> and a healthy breakfast. With the little marshmallow shields. <laughs> There's a commercial, a little girl. She has a bowl of Gardos and she <laughs> turns to her dad and says, I can outrun a centaur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This has to be made. <laughs>